What is it like to be a pastor's kid? Well, I myself am a pastor's kid, but I'm 46 years old, so I can't really speak into what it's like today. But I'm joined by three of my four kids. All three of my daughters are here with me, and they are going to talk today with you about what it's like to be a pastor's kid. So let's go. All right. Welcome back to The Naked Weekly. Uh, My name is Jeff Manis. I am the host here as a part of The Naked Party Time podcast, and I am joined by three of the most beautiful women on the planet. Uh, Why don't you guys introduce yourself? Uh, We're talking about what it's like to be a pastor's kid this week. You guys have invaded the podcast, and you didn't want me to be on here, but I didn't trust you on your own. (laughs) So let's start with the oldest introducing yourself, going to the youngest. So oldest and how, just say your name and how old you are. I'm Mariah and I'm 17. I'm Michaela and I'm 16. I'm Jada and I'm 14. All right, Mariah, Michaela, and Jada. And we're just going to jump right into some questions about being a pastor's kid. Some of these came in from people who are listeners as well. And you are free to be as honest as you want, understanding that there might be discipline. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> well, not oh, kidding. Kind of, kind of. But uh, no, you I can. Went out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can be as honest as you want. So here we go. What's been the hardest part about being a pastor's kid? The hardest part about being a pastor's kids is the stereotypes that we are put into. And that's Michaela talking. What stereotypes are you talking about? Like you're either people always say you're either perfect like God or you're this terrible kid and you go you're going to be in jail and you're going to do all these things. But we're all human. We all are. We all do different things. Okay. So stereotypes have been the hardest part. Yes. Okay. Jada. I think the worst part is expectations that people give us that we can't reach. Okay. Anything specific or just general expectations of life yeah. beha- behavior? Yes. Okay. Mariah. Um, I think the worst part is when someone finds out you're a pastor's kid and then they're like, oh, pastor kids are the worst. Wow. People have said that to you? Yes. Yeah. All I'm the sorry. time. Multiple times. I'm yeah. sorry. That's a horrible thing to say. Yeah. It happens all the time. Yeah. I mean, you guys are the worst, but I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody saying that to you besides me. <laughs> so what's been... Uh, that was the hardest part of the worst part. What's been the best part? I'm sure there's been some good parts about being a pastor's kid. <laughs> the best part is like the staff in the church family that you acquire when you become one. Because I know for a fact that all the people that my dad works with would totally help me in any situation. Yeah. Um, I think the best part is that you're known by a lot of people. Like so you're kind of popular. Yes. <laughs> so, so you, you like you, the attention. You, yes. You okay, Jada likes the attention. You softened up a little bit. But that's okay. It is it sometimes it's fun to have everybody know who you are. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mariah? Um I think the best part is just the relationships you make from the people that you meet. Yeah. yeah you guys have made a lot of relationships through yeah, the church. We have. Both with people your age and Older and younger, and you've got babysitting jobs out of it. Yeah, a lot of them. You guys have made money by being pastor's kids. (laughs) That's true. That's (laughs) That's a good thing, right? That's the best part. (laughs) Yep. So how can people better help and serve pastor's kids and pastors in their churches? How can they help pastor's kids? By not putting us into, like, stereotypes, like trying to fill the expectation because we're all human. We all are going to do things that... Not everyone's going to like and not everyone's going to love, but it's not fair to put us in a category just because my dad is pastor. That's good. Thanks, Michaela. Jada? She forgot her answer. Oh, that's all right. You don't have to. You want to think about some more? Yeah. All right. Mariah, do you have an answer? Wait, sorry. The question was what? How can people better help and serve pastor's kids and pastors? Oh, by not putting us on such like a high pedestal. Okay. Like not expecting that. You second that? Yeah. Not (laughs) expecting so much. Okay. Anything, Jada, that you want to... How can people help pastors' kids? Um, by giving them more attention? <laughs> no. Would that be helpful? Um, by not giving us expectations that we can't reach. Okay. I, I would like to add something. When you see us in public, I'm, unless it's Jada, obviously. Because she wants the attention. Yes. But it's, sometimes when you like say, oh my gosh, you're Jeff, Jeff Manis' kid, that kind of like... <laughs> gives a lender level of anxiety <laughs> maybe don't act like her dad is a celebrity yeah <laughs> maybe only only if you see jada though because she likes it yeah she's nodding her head yes <laughs> okay so growing up at element you guys element's probably the 
only church, I know it's the only church Jada remembers because she was a baby. Probably the only church Michaela remembers. I remember the Gillette Church. A little bit? Yeah. Do you remember the Gillette Church I at know, all? Okay, most of it. a little bit. Um, growing up at Element, what's been some of your favorite memories about it? Um, my okay. favorite memories are. Oh, man. I did, forgot did I was going to Did we talk say. about this question? <laughs> yeah. I think so. I don't remember what I, don't I was going to say. Yeah. Okay, oh, wait. Jada. Oh, wait. I remember what I was going to say. When you, how you get to see like all the backstage work happening. Yeah. Like oh, I do remember for um, like the Christmas service that we do, like yeah. so much work goes into that. And you, normal people don't realize how much we do because you just go and you enjoy the service. Yeah. But seeing all the background stuff that happened is really cool. That's cool. Jada? Um, when dad tells stories about me, <laughs> well, all of us, mostly because it's attention, but also because it lets people know like more about our life and what happens in our life. Cool. So Jada actually loves it when I share stories about the kids in church. Mariah and Michaela do not. No. They like cringe. No, because then everyone's head turned at us and they're yeah. like, oh. And Jada loves that. <laughs> in fact, one of my favorite memories is when you guys were, we were in my office before service. Mm. It was when we were doing the 6 p.m. service. And I think it was Mariah. It was me. Said, <laughs> I think you either dared me or said, you wouldn't call us on the platform during your sermon. And what did I do that service? You did just that. <laughs> I called every single one of you up on the platform just because you said I wouldn't. And That's were, the I worst moment it. of being a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> and we were not prepared. And Jada has since asked me to do it again. <laughs> hey, call us on the stage again. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't second that. <laughs> I don't second that either. So I don't know if you guys had an answer for this one, but if you could choose what I did as a living, as your dad, if you could choose what I did besides being a pastor, is there anything you would want me to do for a living? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I could see you doing anything else. I said something out of the spotlight, but I yeah. didn't know what exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I said singer because <laughs> you are a really good singer and it, you would be famous. Oh, that's thanks. That's why that's why you're my he's favorite. He's not a Jada. good singer. <laughs> yeah, he's really not. He wow. Really is. Wow. I th I think I would I would side with Jada on that one. <laughs> I think one of you said something that made more money. I think I did. <laughs> not that I'm not grateful or anything, but more money is always you know a plus. Because you think it's going to trickle down to you. Yeah. Is that obviously. how it works? Of okay. Because I'm All your right. favorite. So this question came in from somebody uh, on social media. Have you had peers avoid a friendship with you because of your status as a preacher's kid? Yes, because we go. All, it goes all the way back to the stereotype of if they're a pastor's kid, they're going to snitch on me. They're going to, mm. it's not going to be fun. They want to do anything fun. So it all goes back to the stereotype that people put us in. I'm sorry. That's sad. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, I haven't had people like not be friends with me, but I've had friends that won't like say stuff or they'll be like, they'll say something and they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. But like, I haven't had anyone like specifically not okay. be friends with me okay. because of it. I agree with Mariah. Okay. Yeah. That you've had, you've not had friends not be your friend, whatever, peers not be your friend, but they've said certain things about it. Yes. Or okay. they're just like weird about it and they yeah. like won't be themselves because they're scared yeah, okay. for some reason. So this also came in on social media. Are you free to decide how much you volunteer in the church? Are you ever voluntold to do things for the church? Um, yes, we are free to decide, but also, yes, we have been voluntold because sometimes my mom just tells us we're doing something at the <laughs> she church. She signs you up for something. And we're like, oh, okay, and we just go and do it. But usually it's like up to our decision. Yeah. 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 So we, I mean, just for clarification, up until they're 16... We, church is mandatory, that you have to go to church if you're in our home up until 16. When they turn 16, we start letting them make that decision on their own. And sometimes they come and sometimes they don't, right? Yep. We typically go though. You typically but, go. like volunteer wise, we right. don't have to, we don't there's volunteer. not a line. But I think that other piece is good for people to know that we don't force you guys. Yeah. Well, we do until you're 16. <laughs> but then you, once you have the freedom of a car and that kind of thing, you're, you're free to go or... Or not go. Well, yep. we're not forced to volunteer, though. Correct. We yeah. used to volunteer, but yep. we don't right now. Yep. Maybe you should start again. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Where, where am I at here? Uh, what is an assumption people make about you being the pastor's children that isn't true? That we're all terrible. Because yeah. well, sometimes we're terrible, but half the time we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Th that we're perfect. Okay. So the opposite. Yeah. 
yep. that we don't do anything wrong. Yeah, that they would, yeah. they would, yeah. That. So that, it's either like people think we're like the worst kids ever, or people think we're perfect and we've never done anything wrong. Okay. So is there an assumption about you as a pastor's kid that is true? Well, we do do things wrong. We are all human. So. Okay. All right. Well, we're not anything perfect. else you think of? No. All right. And this is the last one for pastor's kids. And then we're going to do another episode just with some questions about you guys. Okay. Awesome. So last one about pastor's kids. Here we are. <laughs> are any of you interested in leading a church one day? No. No. <laughs> that is not You guys almost all life. said it at the same time. Yeah. No. None of you. Yeah. At least at least not right now. No. Yeah. Like maybe maybe one day God would call one of you guys or Jonah to lead a church, but for right now, it's a no. Yeah, it's a no. On I don't the even next, want to go to college. So what's that? I don't even want to go to. College. You don't want to go to college. <laughs> That's fine. On the next uh, Naked Weekly, which we'll record here as soon as we're done with this one, <laughs> we are going to answer the question: What are your plans after high school? Which Mariah and Michaela, you're graduating high school. Mariah is graduating this month. Seven days. Michaela's graduating in May. Forty six days. <laughs> Jada, do you know how many days it is for you? I do not. Um, I graduated 3,478,000 days you ago. You totally just made that number up. No, I, I know it every day. I add a day to it. Oh, yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs>Thank you, Michaela, Mariah, and Jada for joining us on The Naked Weekly. Uh, We'll have another episode of The Naked Weekly that drops here, talking with my daughters once again. But for now, like it, share it, rate it, review it, do all the things on uh, YouTube, on your podcast app, and we will see you on the other side.